Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Swirl Line Animation. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 24 frames per second. And my duration is 20 seconds longer. The first step is to import this file into your project. You can download it from the link in the description. Place it onto the timeline and let's adjust the size of it. I am going to use a size of 8%. And then, place this image right here. Now, we will use this ornament shape as the reference. As you can see, this is the mirror image. Which means, the left part looks exactly the same, as the right part. So we just need to trace the left part, and then we will use the mirror effect. To mirror the same animation to the right, make sure to unselect any selected layer, then go to the tools, and select the pen tool. Please note, the fill is set to none, and the stroke is set to a solid color. For the stroke, I am using white color, and the stroke thickness is going to be 3 pixels. Now we will start tracing it over. While tracing the image, you can press and hold the space key on your keyboard to temporarily switch to the hand tool. Now start creating the same shape here. Let's start it from this point. Click and drag the mouse cursor, to add the curves into the stroke. In case, you need to adjust the path curve, simply press and hold the ALT key on your keyboard, and drag these handles, to adjust the path. Make it as smooth as you can. Let's quickly finish this up. Cool. Let's rename this layer as 1. Make sure to unselect this layer as well. Now again, I am going to trace the second path. This time, it is going to be this. Of course, you should spend a little more time to make the perfect curve. But for this tutorial, I am speeding up this process. Let's call it the layer 2. Again unselect this layer. Now the last shape will be this. Make sure to trace the image, as close as possible to the ornamental shape. This is why we are using the ornamental layer, as the reference. Now hide the bottom layer, and adjust the curves if you need. Let's rename this layer as 3. Now select all shape layers, go to the top, click on add, and choose the trim path. This trim path will be used to animate these strokes. And it will create a nice looking right on animation. So let's open the trim path option, and we are going to use the end, for the animation. You can always hide the path by clicking here. Cool. Let's change the end value to 0%, and make sure you are in the first frame. Here, add a keyframe on it. Now go to around 6 second position and change the end value to 100%. Let's place this keyframe on 8 seconds. Now select the second layer, and open its trim paths. 
Here, change the end value to 0%. And then add a keyframe on it. Go to around 11 second position, and change the end value to 100%. Again go to the 10 second position. And then open the trim path of the one layer. Change the end value to 0%, and then add a keyframe on it. Go to the 15 second position, and change the end value to 100%. All the strokes are going to be visible, before the last one ends. Now select all layers, and press U to open keyframes. Select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and in case your graph does not look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Make sure to select the move tool by pressing V on your keyboard. Now select the end keyframes, and change the curves to something like this. It will make the ending smoother. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it going to look now. Cool. Let's move to the next step. Select all shape layers, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it swirl, and then hit OK. Now we are going to add the mirror effect on it. So go to the effects and the presets, and search for the mirror. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, I am going to divide the first value, of the reflection center by 2. And it will place the mirror image, just right front of it. But, as you can see, the edges are not matching properly. So let's turn down the value by 2 pixels. And this is how it will look now. Not bad. Let's apply the mirror effect once again. And this time, change the reflection angle value to 90 degrees. And it will repeat itself at the bottom. You can always increase or decrease the distance, by using the Y value of the mirror effect. Let's add a line to it. Open the swirl comp. Here make sure to unselect any selected layer. Then go to the tools, and select the pen tools. I am using the same settings. Now create a line, while pressing the shift key on your keyboard, to make the straight line. In case you want, you can also create a curve at the end. But this is optional. Let's go to around 12 second position. Click on the add, and add trim path. Open trim path, and add a keyframe on the end. Also, change the value to 0%. Now go to around 15 second position, and change the end value to 100%. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them as well. Open graph editor, grab the move tool, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it going to look now. Cool. Let's add some colors to it. Select the swirl layer, then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the 4 color gradient. Apply it onto the layer, and then grab these anchor points, and place them towards the shape. Let's change the color of each points. You are free to use any color you want. You can even make it white. I am going to use a golden type of color, to achieve the royal look. Cool. Let's open this swirl comp. Select all layers. And change the stroke value to 5 pixels. So that we can see it more clearly. Cool. Now select this swirl layer once again, and make a duplicate of it. Select the bottom layer, and I am calling it swirl light. Again go to the effects and presets, and this time search for the CC radial fast blur. Apply it onto the layer. And change the amount value to 75. Now select the top layer, and change the blend mode to the screen. Cool. Let's add some text to it. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen 
and start typing your text. Eject from the typing tool, and then make sure to align your text layer, in the center of the shape layer. If required, you can also change the position of the swirl layer. Let's keep the size 74%. Now select this swirl layer once again. Go to the effect controls tab, copy this four color gradient, and then paste it on the text layer. It will have the same color as the swirl. Let's adjust the text size, and this is how it going to look now. By the way, you can download this font from the link in the description. Let's add some animation to the text. Go to the 14 second position. Then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the simple choker. Apply it onto the layer, and then add a keyframe on the choke mat. Press U, to open keyframes, and place this keyframe on the 16 seconds. Now change the choke mat value to a higher number, so that the text should disappear. This is how it looks now. Now select both keyframes, and easy ease them as well. Here is the last step. Create a new adjustment layer, and I am calling it Glow. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the layer. And then change the glow threshold value to 50%, and the glow intensity value to 0.5. My light layer is not looking that good anymore, so select the swirl light layer, and change the opacity value to 50%. Ram preview this. And our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Download unlimited After Effects templates, royalty free sound effect, stock footage, and more. Visit Envato Elements. Check the link in the description.